This video shows us how to construct an S-hydrograph and use it to create a new unit hydrograph for a specific storm duration. Thus, S-hydrographs allow us to generate an adjustment to an existing unit hydrograph. So what is an S-hydrograph? It's a summation hydrograph used to adjust the duration of a unit hydrograph. For example, if you have an existing one-hour hydrograph, we can convert it to a two-hour storm hydrograph. Or if you have a two-hour storm unit hydrograph, we can convert it to a one-hour storm unit hydrograph. How, is it, how do you develop an S-hydrograph? First, you need to identify an effective storm duration. This is done by using an hydrograph. You're given a storm of duration T1 minutes. This is our effective duration. T1 could represent any time that we desire. Second, we obtain a specific unit hydrograph for a storm of T1 duration. This unit hydrograph provides us a representation of a unit hydrograph for a duration of T1. Next, we repeat this unit hydrograph and effective rainfall indefinitely. The start of the unit hydrograph is always at the same time as the start of the effective duration. Thus, you can see that they line up. Next, we need to sum up the unit hydrographs to develop an S hydrograph. Thus, there's our S hydrograph. Let's do an example to demonstrate how we truly use an S-hydrograph. Create a three-hour unit hydrograph based on the following two-hour unit hydrograph. These values are given to us every two hours over a 10-hour time period. The first thing you do is you repeat the unit hydrograph as described previously. Since it's a two-hour unit hydrograph, the two hours describes the effective storm duration. So every two hours, we repeat the unit hydrograph as follows. Then you sum the values to construct the S hydrograph. Once the value repeats itself, for example, in this, 300, 300, 300, you know you have reached the plateau or top of the S hydrograph and you no longer need to repeat. Now let's cre create the three hour unit hydrograph. Let's rewrite the two hour S hydrograph that we determined above. We need to interpolate between each of the two hours to find the one hour, the three hour, the five hour, the seven hour, and the nine hour since we're constructing a three hour unit hydrograph. We did this simply by doing a linear interpolation. Since we are doing a three hour unit hydrograph, we take the S hydrograph, the two hour S hydrograph that we determined, and we shift it. So the zero right here corresponds to the zero at three hours. The 25 corresponds to the 25, the 50 to the 50, and so on. Next, you take the difference between the 2-hour S-hydrograph with the shifted S-hydrograph. 0 minus 0 gives you 0. 25 minus 0 gives you 25. 50 minus 0 gives you 50. 125 minus 0 gives you 125. 200 minus 25 gives you 175, and you repeat yourself. Next, you're going to calculate the three-hour unit hydrograph. This is done by multiplying the difference column by the time of the original S hydrograph, or unit hydrograph, and divided by the new unit hydrograph. So, in this case, we will multiply each value in the difference column by two-thirds. So, 25 times two-thirds give us 16.7. 50 times two-thirds gives us 33.3. 
125 minus, times 2 thirds gives us 83.3, and so on. So we repeat this for each of the values, and we get the 3-hour unit hydrograph. We will do an example of an S hydrograph in class to make sure you understand S hydrographs. Now, we have a new unit hydrograph of a storm duration of three hours. It is still for the same watershed, so the area of the watershed is the same. The only difference is the values of the flow rate for the unit hydrograph. 